In this tutorial, I'm going to show you exactly how to collect emails directly with ManyChat. So like when someone comments for your ManyChat automation, how to ask them for their email address directly in DM so they never have to click off onto another opt-in page. And I started doing this this past summer and it's what really drastically blew up my leads from Instagram with the reach that I was already getting because I wasn't relying on people to click a link and then go to a landing page and then opt in for like an email freebie. Instead, I was collecting emails and am collecting emails directly from Instagram, okay? So like they type their email via DM to me and that adds them to my email list. And so if you look to your screen, I have this set up in a ManyChat clone that you can like save to your own ManyChat account. I'm gonna have a link directly below in the description so you can save it to your account and then walk through step-by-step step like how to implement this. And that's what I'm gonna be showing you in this video, like basically how it works. So if you click the blue button in the bottom right-hand corner that says save to ManyChat once you open up the link. So if you need to pause this, go grab that template and then come back whenever you have this page open, click that blue button, okay? That's gonna save it to your own ManyChat account. So we're gonna go ahead and just save it here. Once it's complete, we're going to hit view flow down here at the bottom. And uh, the first thing, for, for I guess first I wanna walk you through kind of how this is set up, okay? So we have when someone replies to your story or when someone comments on your post or your reel. So the really important thing here is that they do have to, if it's a feed post, they have to basically either tap a button, send you a message that says that they agree to receive communication from you basically. So like you can't do this if you just send them a direct link to something, okay? And so what you want to do is that you'll see the first message here says something like, I can't wait to share, put the title of your freebie or whatever it is you're giving them right there with you. Tap below if you're ready. And then there's a button that will be right below this that they tap, okay? And so that's signaling that then you can send them follow-up messages, which makes these automations so much more powerful. And so the first step here is it's going to say, I, first step, I need your email. This means you agree to receive emails from me. Don't worry, this just means... Uh, or this just allows me to send it over to my email service provider and add you to my weekly newsletter. And you can tweak this to whatever makes sense for you, but this is an important disclaimer you need to provide here and basically say, you are going to be contacting them, right? And adding them to your email list. And so that is something that to comply with email regulations, laws, terms, make sure you're doing something like that. And so I then ask them, I say, okay, now for instant access, type your email below. And then the way this is set up and the way that this works is if they, so the action on reply, that means if they type their email, it's a valid email address, then that's what's going to happen next, okay? And so, uh, you're going to have an action here and I have this set up for Flowdesk. If you use a different email service provider, you're just, you have to look into many chats, help articles to see how to do it for your email service provider, whether you can do a direct integration or not. Flowdesk is amazing because it is a direct integration. And so when you come in here, basically you're having it do an action. This is where you would set it up for whatever email service provider that you do use. Um, you can, I'm sure for most service for email service providers, if you do Zapier, you can connect your ManyChat automation to your email service provider this way. So like when someone is added to a tag in ManyChat or some other way within this automation directly, you can have it then pop them over into your email service provider. Okay, that's how you can grow your email list. But you'll have to look, use ChatGPT or Google, figure out like for yours of how you would do that. But I know a lot of you use Flowdesk, which is why I set it up for that. And so essentially what I already have in here for you is an action, it's a Flowdesk action. They recently came out with direct integration with ManyChat, which is actually insane, incredible. And so you come in here and all you wanna do is select what segment they're gonna be added to. So you'll see I have a lot of segments here, like for this one, ManyChat, this is from a YouTube video. So like if I was using this to set up, to send people a link to my YouTube video, I would do this and hit save here. And so when they type the email, it's gonna, here's the action it's going to take. So an action is like adds them to a tag, triggers a Zapier, adds them to Flowdesk, whatever it is, you know, the, all those options that were in that um, section here. When we go to action, those are your options for action. And then your next step is what happens once they send, give you their email address. I personally don't ask for their first name. I really just don't worry about it. I feel like it's just an extra step that doesn't matter as much to me personally, so I really just don't bother with it. And so once they type that in, the next step that it will take is you're gonna deliver what 
you promised them, okay? So that's this message right here I have set up. So you wanna have a button. So this is a button that, this is where your link is gonna go. Right here is his website URL. Button title is whatever you want it to be titled. And yeah, pretty self-explanatory there. And then the way I have this set up is if someone doesn't give you their email address after this, after six hours, and you can change this to however many hours you want, but it won't let you do more than 23. So just keep that in mind. But you can delay this however long you want, and then it follows up with them to say, hey, like, do you still want that freebie? And they can tap the button yes. It will then ask for their email address again, and then it's the exact same step here. It's, uh, and then you'll, so you'll wanna pop in your segment right here as well for Flowdesk. So if they put their email in here, then it this also goes the next step to send a message. And then if someone gets to this step here, it follows up with them six hours later and just says like, hey, just wanna check in, make sure you got the freebie. I know things can get lost. And so it's asking and prompting that again. One thing I do wanna add here, and I may update this template to include this, but one thing and little tip if you're watching this video, because it's obviously not in the template, is you can also set conditions so that if someone's given you their email address before, it will automatically go through the steps to add them like to your Flowdesk account to or your email service provider and add them to that segment without them having to type their email address in every single time. It's pretty cool. And so basically it remembers the email address they did before. So like if I have someone who is in my audience who opts in for five different freebies from my Instagram content, they can come or they only have to give me their email address the first time and it will continue to like remember their email address the times after that and go down the flow without them having to retype it all of the time, which is so nice. So how you do that, let me space this out a little bit more here, is what you would do is before this first message, it says first step, I need your email, okay? You, uh, when they tap this button, so see this little gray, let me zoom in a little bit, this little gray circle here next to the button, okay? You're gonna click on that, drag, and let go. And that's gonna prompt you to, what do you want the next step to be when someone taps that button? And this is the step that's happening before we ask for their email. So we're gonna do a condition. We're gonna do, click where it says all of the following conditions. Okay, leave it there. We're gonna click on condition here. And then we're going to go to email. So it was one of the recommended ones right here. I believe it would be under user fields. Yeah, email. But I'm just gonna click on email. And then you want to, so if, if the email is unknown, that's the automatic option. If they match that condition, if the email is unknown, then we want it to go to that first step, right? To ask for their email address. But if they don't match this condition, which means if they've already given you their email address before and ManyChat has that stored, then what you want to do is right here, um, you can either click choose next step on this pop-up right here. If not, choose next step. Or you can even click here where this little red button is that will also do the same exact thing. Click it, drag it all the way to just sending them the link. Okay, but remember, we want to add them to our, to our email service provider as well. So I guess actually what we wanna do is we're gonna do an action. We're gonna add the Flowdesk. So if that's not there, go to Flowdesk, submit data to form. And then that's where I would select my Flowdesk segment. So say I'm doing it for this video. So it's going to, if they have already given the ManyChat their email address, once they tap this button, it's going to automatically add them to the segment for this freebie. And then it's going to immediately send them this message with the direct link. And that's the link to the freebie. It's not a landing page or anything. It's the, the freebie itself. And this will also, how I have mine set up, like when it's added to the segment for that freebie, I have a workflow in Flowdesk that automatically also emails them a link to the freebie. So I could also put in this message like, here you go, actually I did, <laughs> here you go, also send it to your inbox. So that's how that's happening, right? You would also want to do the same thing for, you. I mean, you could up here, it's more than likely it's not going to though. You could technically do that exact same process for right here, because right here it's asking for their email again. And so 
maybe between the six hours that they initially reached out and that you send this follow-up message. Maybe they've given you them given you their email in some other way. But I probably just wouldn't worry about it. It's really, I mean, you can, but um, you would just do it the exact same process. So you would do, okay, so when they press this button, you would want to do a condition. And that condition is if they give in, or if the email is unknown, then we are asking for the email. So this would go to this one right here. If the email is known, then the easy way to do this is just drag it over to this one because we already created it, right? So if the email is known at this point, then they're just immediately added without having to give you their email and then they're sent the link, boom. And you can make this a little less confusing <laughs> if you space everything out just a little bit more. Um, but this has been a game changer. Like I used to be lucky if like 10 to 20% of people who initially comment for a keyword, either stories or feed, who actually finish the opt-in and give me their email on a landing page versus doing it this way. I have like 70 to 80% of people who initially comment for many chat, like actually finish giving me their email. It's insane doing it this way and having it. And it's just so nice for the user because they don't have to leave Instagram to sign up for my email list or to actually access the freebie. It's insane. And I have found this has helped grow my email list so much. And something that I preach all the time, teach all the time to my students is Instagram, social media, these organic platforms are intended to help you generate leads, okay? It's not a selling platform. Email is your selling platform. And so if you want to sell more of your products, especially digital products, courses, think about how social media, like Instagram, is helping you generate leads and you're getting as many leads into your top of funnel as possible. Like you're pouring all of these people in the top, which is giving you their email. And then that's going to trigger from there. They opt in for your freebie. Maybe you link to some of your digital products in your freebie very organically, very naturally. Maybe it triggers an email funnel. Maybe there's a tripwire. I've played around with sending like this follow-up message, being more so a pitch for a product and like giving a coupon code. Like there's so many ways you can go about that. But at the end of the day, social media like is not necessarily just direct selling. It can be, but one of the most powerful ways I've used it is growing my email list like this and growing my leads. Cause I know once I get them onto my email list, I can sell them there. And I have a really, really, really effective way of selling people via email marketing. And so if you want to learn more about that, about how exactly I monetize my email list, go down below to my free email class. It's a free one hour class that breaks down exactly how I do it with live emails and automations. So this isn't like how to start your list or you know just, just sending newsletters, even though that's important too, it's a part of the strategy, but it's the overall strategy of how are we sending live emails? How are we set up, setting up automations? What kind of freebies are we actually making? that is actually gonna day gonna make you more passive income from your instant access offers, right? So like courses, digital products, even affiliate marketing is what we're focused on here. So I hope this tutorial was so incredibly helpful for you. It's been a game changer for me as I've really bumped things up with Instagram this year. And I have actually seen so much more organic growth ever since the beginning of July in the past couple of months since I decided to go all in with this strategy and also other strategies on Instagram, which I'm excited to share even more about with you guys on this channel soon. So thank you so much. If you have any questions, drop a comment below. I'm happy to answer any questions or hangups that you have. And I'll see you guys again next week's video. Bye guys.